right here, dude. Four bear. Guys, four bears. We're doing things. We got four bears. Come on, phone. Literally just spotted that with my naked eye. Lots of bear footage. Good evening, good afternoon, how are we? Uh, we're up bright and early. Not that bright and early. Eating breakfast burritos. We're not too shabby. Plan for today is to go find a better area for bears. I shouldn't say bear, better area. Where we were at last night was pretty decent, I thought. We didn't see any. We're gonna go explore more country. I think we have an idea. There's a little logging road that we drove up yesterday. It's an open road, but it gets bogged out. Somebody, maybe from the forest there, said, I'll cut it to a certain point and then it stopped. And there's a bunch of logs across the road. In my head, I'm thinking, road probably hasn't been traveled on this year. Um, so we go and hike it, drive up as far as we can, and then just hike the road. It goes up for miles past where the logs are. Might get into some bears that haven't been messed with. So that's an idea. Also, I have a couple more spots I want to go check off, check the, off the list of potential glassing areas. So I want to go look at those as well. So we have a lot to do, but first, we're gonna eat a burrito, and then we're gonna put the plan into action. Come along with us as we adventure into the woods. tonight but me and Logan both agreed that we should probably give this thing at least two nights it's such a good uh, vantage point we didn't see anything last night but that doesn't mean there's not bears in here bears are funny man they could be here and just be in some thicker stuff you'll never see them and then they'll pop out but we're watching this bull it looks like a really good bull but his left side's normal and he's big on his left side we can tell he's gonna be a big bull and then his right side comes out and, and like really weird and then he has this it looks like a giant like Set of testicles coming out like antlers it's like just something broke on it or something it's bizarre but it's just big like but it's keeping us keeping us uh busy anyways looking at all the elk that are down here but no bears so far we're gonna give it tonight and just glass it. we got about two and a half hours to glass this and then uh if nothing will be somewhere else tomorrow that's for sure there is that one trail i'm gonna go hike up and it's logged in no one can get past it unless they cut it out so might be a good road to walk up but real nice weather we're still having a real good time and uh just gonna see what we can see it's all we can do it is a good looking bear but yeah she's got a suck cub honestly like the same color as a grizzly we've got our first two bears of the trip guys um logie bear spotted it He's rocking the old uh, Razor UHD 18s hand holding them, and he spotted the bear. I got the spotter on him. Only problem is, it's a sow with a cub. But uh, that's a big W for the day. We think we know how to get over there, but it doesn't matter. We can't go hunt it. Obviously, it, has a cub. it looks like a two year old sup cub. I don't know if you're seeing a cub from that far, like it's got to be a mature. Not mature, but like it's not obviously a newborn. There's a deer right below it. <sighs> Dang, that's a good spot, man. 
Dude, it looks so big. It did. When I got the spotter on, I was like, whoa. And then, well, I saw the, the cub first. I'm like, eh. And then the mom walked yeah. behind. And I was like, holy crap. I think when I first saw them, they were kind of stacked on top of each other. And it looked like a freaking Interest- grizzly bear. Yeah, it did. Interesting place for a bear to be, like, really in the flat stuff. Right next to a lake. Which is pretty cool. Hey. We're doing something right. <laughs> Just got to find a big one like that without a cub with him. Her. It might be a good area, though. It's super green over there. I kept looking in there because it's just like neon green. Got, got bear footage for you guys. Well, we're doing bear things, guys. We just got our third bear of the evening. That's why you come back. We sat here for like three, four hours last night and never saw a bear. We came back, we've been only here for like an hour and a half and seen three bears. So, that is good. Uh, this one looks like it has a really pretty coat. This area, this unit's known for a lot of color face bears. And the people I talk to are like, you rarely see a black bear down here, black colored bear. But yeah, this is a really cool, like, really light cinnamon. Kind of looked like Bear Logie killed. Um, I think it's a little bigger than that, but I'm going to try to really study and see if it's a boar. Looks like a sow to me. So I really got to pay attention and see if it's got cubs, but it's unfortunately, just on the edge of this, like, little weird piece of private. Oh, it's gonna climb a tree. Why did it go behind the tree, dang it? Yeah, it's like jumped up on the tree, but it's right behind it. Really? So I can't see it. Oh, it just jumped down. We got bears going on, guys. This is good. Feels good to finally see one. Yeah, that's three bears in the afternoon. Three for three cinnamon bears. I'd call the ones you saw more like chocolate, maybe? I don't know. Heck yeah, feeling good. Another bear. What? Right here, dude. Oh, yeah. Another little bear. Guys, four bears. We're doing things. <laughs> we got four bears. Come on, phone. 600. Take the shot. It's, it's like a sow, though. Oh, not a big sow. It's hard. I'm trying to record and trying to judge how big they are. The thing with bears, man, they always are moving. So, like, you see one, I'm trying to like judge it, and it disappears in the brush, especially down here. But looks like a pretty one, dude. We're we're, in, we're into the bears. Literally just spotted that with my naked eye. I was filming when you said that. I was trying to film this cliff. Lots of bear footage. Dude, those two bears aren't too far apart from each other. Dude, that's exactly where I thought I would see a bear first. Coming up out of that steep, gnarly canyon. Yeah. I'm gonna try to get a better look at this bear. Freaking big black bear, dude, has a tail like that long. <laughs> Better eat real well, not have trichinosis. Well. <laughs> when you start, I start seeing a lot of game, dude. My mind's just like, everything's a bear at that point. It's funny, like, if you're not seeing anything, then your mind, your eyes start playing tricks and everything's a bear. And when we saw all four of those bears within 30 minutes, then I was just like, bears everywhere. It was a cow. Thought I spotted a big one. <laughs> Dang it. Big black one. <laughs> big jet black. <laughs> Green ear tag. <laughs> Dang it. Oh well. Saw a lot of bears, man. Tonight's been fun. This thing with bear hunting, man, it could be feast or famine, that's for sure. But uh like where like where things are going. I think we're gonna come back to this spot for the morning for sure. And then probably go tour around in the old can and tomorrow get up above this and go see, try to find another spot just like this. I mean, we saw four bears in here, well, within a mile of here, which tells me it's a really good area for bears, and there could be, you know, there could be a couple other ones we haven't seen, a real big one, but um, it's always nice to have backup stuff, so come glass this in the morning, then we'll go uh, see if you're looking for a backup plan, but I really like this elevation that we're at. I think the grass is the greenest down here, and uh, um, you get up any higher and the grass isn't as nearly as green, so... 
I think this is a good elevation to look at, so we'll just kind of just hit this side and hit that side and just cruise roads until we can find a good glassing point like this at this elevation and try to find more bears. Okay. <laughs> probably write a book about bear hunting. <laughs> so I've killed three of them in my life. <laughs> Well, we are in the midday lull, so we decided to come out here and shoot the rifle, make sure she's dialed. Um, I, I've got both the Weatherby 300s, uh, the very first rifle Hush did with Weatherby, and then uh, the latest Hush rifle that we did, the gray one. So I'm going to shoot them both, just make sure they're dialed. Um, we're about, we've got a rock about 500 yards, pretty gusty, so wind will affect a little bit, but always good to be confident in not only your equipment but yourself so if I see a bear at 500 I want to feel confident that I could kill it hey you ready yep dude you hit that white dot freaking drilled it you literally hit that white dot you were aiming at inches to the right of that white dot and like four or five inches high. You hit the rock. Well, I feel confident. Shot both of them at 550 and shot probably four or five inch group with both guns. So, confident in myself, confident in my equipment. Now we've got to go find the bear at 550 yards or less. He will be dead.
so we've got the right conditions. I think we might be in the right spot. Just gotta find one. Um, well, we're back at the spot. This is the spot we've sat every night we've been here. I couldn't commit to that other spot we found. I just didn't think it was big enough area to glass all night. So we came right back here in the Can-Am. <laughs> Starluck. There's cows everywhere in here now. Like, the last couple nights we've seen like two or three cows way off in the distance. And now everywhere we saw bears yesterday, there's cattle. Mooing. It's, yeah, I don't, I don't know if that would bump the bears out of here, um, but it's not great to try to glass because there's a lot of little black things out there <laughs> that look very similar to bears. Uh, I can tell you this, there was a lot more elk in here yesterday too, and they were bumped out. But, big old boar come in here and kill one of these calves. That's wishful thing. I shouldn't say that. It's rude, but that's what, that's what nature does. <laughs> That is nature. I don't know, we'll uh, glass it. We don't have it much more than like a half an hour left. So we'll glass it tonight and see what we see. But yeah, I don't have a lot of faith in it now. Um, there were literally four bears in here yesterday. But you gotta roll with the punches. If this doesn't pan out, we'll move somewhere different and find another spot. Here's your update. Tonight sucked. <laughs> Tonight was not our night. What did I say earlier? Bears like sunny and 70. It is windy and overcast now. And I think there might be a front moving in. Doesn't look good. You know, I think you can still find bears. A lot of people say that um, when they're baiting them. They don't, you know, you'll never see a wet bear at the bait. Sunny and 70. Uh, spot and stock is different. We can go find them. But I think we need to come up with a new game plan because those cattle that got pushed in here yesterday or today... I don't think they're helping anything out. All the elk have been pushed down lower. There's no bears. So, but you never know. Um, we're gonna go back to camp, cook us a little bit of food, get back a little earlier tonight, and uh, make a game plan for tomorrow. Um, I don't know what that might be. I gotta look, study my Onyx maps and see uh, see what pops out at me. So the secret to any uh, dehydrated meal is to add as much flavoring as possible. Um, what I did here is I went, well I chose, lasagna with meat sauce from our good friends at Mountain House and then I went two mild sauces from Taco Bell and an original from Taco Time piece of cheese and this is what we're working with one bite everyone knows the rules this is a it's one of my favorites actually it's pretty good we uh, didn't bring any breakfast food and we didn't go out hunting this morning because it was so windy so Logan went with B&G from Mountain House and I'm eating uh, lasagna with meat sauce Today is day number four. We need to find a bear to kill. Weather's not supposed to be in our favor today. We've been talking about this a lot. Bears like sunny and 70. We're gonna work with what we got. It's supposed to get really windy this afternoon and a chance of rain. And then hopefully the next two days will be good, but we're gonna drive around and go look for places to glass and then um, maybe hike down into a big steep gnarly canyon. It's right here by camp that we've heard there's some bears in. But we might have to go get some repelling rope if we kill one down there.
just want to go lay down in that field in the bottom and just take a nap. It's so green. Well, no bears tonight, unfortunately. We've sat here every night for four nights, and uh, the second night is when we saw the four bears. And it was weird, we saw all four bears like sh popped out at different locations, all within like 30 minutes of seeing the first two. And I uh, haven't seen them since, I haven't seen a bear since. Um, the cows got pushed in yesterday, and so that's probably not helping things, but we just need to go sit somewhere else in the evening tomorrow. We tried a different spot earlier this evening and it just wasn't producing, so we're like, let's go to the OG spot, and nothing. So, tomorrow's a new day. Tomorrow is uh, second to last day, but we have a location, we have a plan. We just gotta go execute that location and the plan. We're gonna go eat some deer steaks for dinner, though. Mm -hmm. 